guys, what's up? I am back to review another Lush product. I actually went in to visit my friend today who works at Lush and ask her about skincare and if there was anything that she could recommend me. Um, she actually recommended me this Ocean Salt Self-Preserving Scrub. Um, I use a cleanser at the moment. I use the St. Ives Apricot, I believe. Um, but I find it quite harsh on my skin and I feel like it hurts me when I use it. <laughs> so she recommended this one because it's got fine sea salt in it. Um, let me just read you the description before I go ahead and try this one out. So I'm reading this directly from the Lush website and it says, Limes steeped in vodka, grapefruit and lashings of salt go into this invigorating face and body scrub. Now in a self-preserving formula. Then it says, the salty citrus fragrance is refreshing on the skin and mind, like diving into a cool blue ocean. Sea salt is rich in minerals and excellent for scrubbing away any dead skin. We also added rich silky avocado butter, coconut oil and seaweed absolute to keep your skin soft, smooth and conditioned. Um, sounds amazing. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you'll be able to focus on the screen <laughs> but this is what the actual tub looks like um, I obviously have just a little tester if you know from my last lush face mask review or from a previous video I'm currently trying to fix my skin in a very limited amount of time and I'm not being unrealistic I know that it's probably not going to happen but I'm kind of just trying to do everything that I can um, so this is just another step so what I'm going to do is take off my makeup. I've had my makeup on all day so far and it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I need to take it off and then I'll give this a go and let you know how I feel after. Okay, so I've cleansed my face and I've come a bit closer. As you can see, this is my acne. I've shown it off a bit in the last couple of days. And it's really not bothering me to show it off anymore. So that's a plus. Um, it doesn't actually have any descriptions on this capsule because it's just a tester. Um, and it didn't actually tell us online how to use it either, but it is a cleanser, so I'm assuming, I mean, sorry, it is a scrub, so I'm assuming that uh, you would just use it like any other facial scrub. Um, so I'm just gonna wet my face, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of this. I'll show you how much I use, um, and then we're gonna scrub it in. Okay, my face is nice and wet, as you can see. Um, this is what it looks like. <laughs> It's like a um, greeny blue, kind of like oceany, which is cute. Um, and I'm probably gonna take about this much. It doesn't say how much, but this is like, well, actually, maybe not that much. I also didn't get told how much to use, but I've just taken like a little bit on the end of my fingers because I don't want to put too much on. Um, and I'm just gonna. It smells really good. You can smell the, um, do you know what it smells like? A, um, mojito? Is it a mojito or margarita? Margarita? The ones that have got like the salt around the outside, those alcoholic drinks. That's what this smells like. It smells good. Um, I don't like those drinks, but this smells good. So. It is quite rough. Like you can see all the bits of salt um, on my fingers from using it. I thought it was going to be a lot finer than that. This is very rough. Um, so if you can't deal with harsh things, then this is probably not good because it does feel a little bit scratchy. Um, and I'm not like rubbing, I'm not like pushing on my face right now, I'm just rubbing my face in circles. Um, there was actually a review online that said that a girl had had a bad reaction because she had sensitive skin um, and it was a lot harsher than she thought it was. Um, so just be wary of that. Um, I'm not going to put any on my forehead. I know I do have like a pimple right here, but I'm just going to avoid that area because I don't want to irritate it <laughs> um, any more than it is. I didn't taste very salty. 
Don't eat your face masks, guys. Or your cleansers. So the salt doesn't really dissolve or anything. It kind of just sticks around and... Um, <sighs> my face is going to be really red after this. I can feel it. Okay, I think that's about as much as my skin can handle right now. So I'm going to... It's kind of burning, actually. Um, I'm guessing because the salt is going into... I do have quite bad skin, so... And you know when you get salt water on a cut and stuff? I'm assuming that's where the sensation is coming from. And probably the vodka as well. <laughs> um, so it is burning quite a bit at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Oh, that's salty. So as you can see, my skin is quite irritated. Um, and red, a lot redder than before we started. But in saying that, it is a salt scrub. So what do you, what do you expect kind of thing? Um, my skin does feel very clean. It feels very, very clean, which is nice and what you want, especially seeing as I literally just took off my makeup before doing this. Um, it feels super clean and really nice and soft, but it is burning. <laughs> A little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go the rest of my day I might check up on I might check up with you guys a little bit later or I might check up with you guys in the morning and let you know how my face feels then and let you know how it looks then so this is how it looks right now quite a bit of redness um, and it's hurting <laughs> um, and like I said I'll check up with you either later on tonight or tomorrow morning and I'll let you know how it feels then and whether I would use it again or not uh, but yeah I'll see you soon so it's just before eight o'clock so it's been almost five hours since I did the face scrub um, one thing I found quite soon after doing the scrub after the redness went down and after it stopped burning <laughs> My face feels a bit oily, which is weird after doing a face scrub, I feel. Like I would normally feel like clean and like a fresh face, but it's kind of gone back to feeling a bit oily and I feel like I need to clean my face again. I know it has been five hours, but it happened like pretty soon after the scrub. So within about an hour after doing the scrub, my face felt quite oily and dirty again um, it did okay so I would probably say if you have sensitive skin don't use this because it hurt while I was using it and then it burned and it left my face very irritated as you saw um, I guess I'll keep giving it a go over the next week and I'll see how it feels and how it improve if it improves or if I feel different about it and I'll leave that in the description below if I find anything different but for now I'm not the biggest fan of it unfortunately um, so my search will continue for something that's gonna help but like I said I've got this pot left so I'll keep using it and see how I feel once it's gone if you enjoyed this video or videos like this, please give it a thumbs up so I know. Um, hit the subscribe button. I've also got a lot of travel videos coming out because I am heading to America in two weeks. Um, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.